Section 9.4 3 square 3 square is my own idea, otherwise it has no special merit. I include it here simply because one of the books I read while researching for this book said that 2 square could not be extended to more than 2 squares. I love a challenge. As the name suggests, 3 square uses 3 polybius squares. These squares should be well mixed with independent keys. 3 square enciphers 3 letters at a time, that is, it enciphers trigrams. This makes it stronger than 2 square. The basic idea is that each letter is replaced by a letter in the square to its right. The replacement letter is in the same row, but in the column containing the next letter of the trigram. Suppose we wish to encipher the trigram T-H-E. The first letter is T, the second letter is H, and the third letter is E. We encipher using the T in the first square, the H in the second square, and the E in the third square, like this. The substitute for T is on the row containing the T and in the column in the second square containing the H, so T is replaced by V. The substitute for H is on the same row as the H in the same column as the E in the third square, so H is replaced by R. The substitute for E is on the same row as the E in the column in the first square containing the T, so E is replaced by Z. Thus, THE becomes VRZ. This can be seen pictorially as follows. The decipherment goes in the opposite direction. Since the first letter of the ciphertext trigram VRZ came from the second square, we begin deciphering in the second square like this. 3 square has a worse problem than 2 square with letters falling on the same row. In a trigram such as XYZ, it is possible that X and Y could fall on the same row, Y and Z could fall on the same row, or Z and X could fall on the same row. This requires two extra rules to prevent a transparency where a letter represents itself. Rule 1. If two consecutive letters in the trigram fall on the same row, the first of these two letters is enciphered as the letter to the right of the second of the letters, wrapping to the left column if needed. For example, in the trigram SUB, the S is on the top row of the first square, and the U is on the top row of the second square. Therefore, S is replaced by V instead of by U. Similarly, in the trigram LET, the T is on the third row of the third square, and the L is on the third row of the first square, so T is replaced by G instead of L. This diagram illustrates Rule 1. Without Rule 1, in the trigram SUB, the S would be replaced by U. Instead, it is replaced by the letter to the right of U in the middle square, namely V. Without Rule 1, in the trigram LET, the T would be replaced by L. Instead, it is replaced by the letter to the right of L in the left square. This wraps from column 5 to column 1, which has the letter G. Rule 2. If all three letters in the trigram fall on the same row, each letter will be replaced by the letter immediately below it, wrapping to the top row if needed. Thus, FUN would be replaced by AZV, and WRE would be replaced by IXL. With these rules, 3 square is rated 5. Playfair 3 square. The 3 square cipher uses 3 polybius squares. Any of these squares could be used for a Playfair cipher. This suggests a hybrid method that mixes the Playfair and 3 square ciphers. You can use a numerical key such as 1413424 to control how each successive bigram or trigram is enciphered. A 1 means encipher the next two letters as a bigram using Playfair in the first square. A 2 
means encipher the next two letters as a bigram using Playfair in the second square. A 3 means encipher the next two letters as a bigram using Playfair in the third square. A 4 means encipher the next three letters as a trigram using 3 square. It is best if the numeric key contains at least one of each digit. Since 3 square is much stronger than Playfair, the digit 4 should occur more often than 1, 2 or 3 in the numeric key. About 50% would be suitable. That is, 4 should occur as often as 1, 2 and 3 combined. Equivalently, generate random numbers from 1 to 6 and use 3 square with 4, 5 or 6. Since Playfair 3 square mixes bigrams and trigrams, about half of the bigrams and two-thirds of the trigrams will not fall on even boundaries. This means the increase in strength is greater than the increase for Playfair 2 square. Playfair 3 square is rated 7. It is possible to combine Playfair 2 square and 3 square into an even more complex cipher, no doubt with greater strength, but Playfair 3 square is already pushing the limits of what a human code clerk can do. Both speed and accuracy would suffer. There is an opposite approach, which I call a straddling 3 square. Group the plain text into rows containing four blocks of three characters each. Encipher each of the blocks using the three square cipher. Now take the last letter of block one and the first letter of block two and encipher that bigram using the Playfair cipher with the first Polybius square. Take the last letter of block two and the first letter of block three and encipher that bigram using the Playfair cipher with the second Polybius square. Take the last letter of block three and the first letter of block four and encipher that bigram with the third Polybius square. This improves the strength of the three square cipher without adding much complexity or much time. Use the same row rule throughout. Section 9.5 Four square The four square cipher was invented by Félix Marie Delestel circa 1890 and described in his book Traité élémentaire de cryptographie, published three months after his death in 1902. Delestel invented the two-square cipher after the four-square cipher as a simplified and slightly less secure version. However, with the same row rule described in section 9.3, the two ciphers can be considered equal in strength. As the name implies, the four-square cipher utilizes four Polybius squares. Two of the squares contain the standard alphabet, and the other two squares contain alphabets mixed using independent keys. The message is enciphered two letters at a time, that is, four-square enciphers bigrams. Here is a sample arrangement. Enciphering uses the familiar rectangular scheme. You locate the two plain text letters in the standard alphabets and replace them with the letters at the opposite corners of the rectangle, like this. Since the two plain text letters can never be in the same row or the same column of the 10 by 10 grid, there is no need for special rules or for separating double letters. The only need for a null character is for completing the last bigram. Four square is rated five. Cycling method. To get a little more strength, you can use a simple transposition similar to the piecewise reversal in section 4.6.1. This transposition uses a repeating numeric key such as 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 6. Divide the ciphertext into blocks of seven characters or any other odd length. Write the successive key digits above each block then cycle each block left the number of positions indicated by its key digit. For example, if the key digit is 4, you would move the leftmost four digits to the right end of the block. Here is an example. 4 square using the cycling method is rated 6. Halving method. 
Another approach to strengthening Foursquare is to transpose the message beforehand. Suppose the message is Ambassador Wilkins assassinated Kabul today. This has 39 letters. Dividing 39 by 2 and rounding up gives 20. Write the message in two rows of 20 letters each and read off the bigrams reading vertically. Encipher these bigrams using four square. These bigrams no longer have the normal bigram frequencies or the normal contact frequencies for English bigrams. Four square using the halving method is rated 7.